the victory sports cards here and today i'm going to be showing you the football cards i will be sending in for that 15.99 per card psa special they have going on right now for the year's 2000 and newer football cards i'll give a quick rationale and thought process behind each card um why it's worth grading uh, so hopefully that will potentially help you pick out which cards you might be sending in for that special but first i want to share a couple tips and thoughts so with the downfall of panini and pretty much fanatics tops taking over you know i've noticed the value of football and basketball tops chrome cards are starting to heat up they're starting to go up in value especially refractors, specifically gold refractors, for sure. I think a lot of people, including myself, are speculating that when Fanatics release Topps Chrome products, the older original Topps Chrome years will become popular again, uh, you know, increasing demand, which increases value. And in these orders, you see right here, I am going to be, you'll see lots of Topps Chrome refractors in here. So the next tip is if you are really getting into the raw to grade game, go ahead and feel confident buying lower end cards on Check Out My Cards, Com C, and eBay. On these sites, they are more likely to be in gradable condition than higher end cards. Um, because, you know, everyone is grading nowadays. And if someone has a clean higher end card, they are definitely going to grade it. So I'm thinking if you see a raw higher end card on Com C or eBay, go ahead and be a little suspicious because there's likely a flaw, a reason why it hasn't been graded. So finally, you heard me say this many times, grade active future Hall of Fame players, especially in football, or players recently retired and up for the Hall of Fame soon. These are safe bets, less risky than prospects, definitely. And the more games these future active Hall of Fame players play each week, it's only padding their stats, increasing their hobby value, and chances to reach the Hall of Fame. Okay, so let's go over each card I'll be sending in. There's around 175 cards, total cards. I'll be breaking them up into four different orders. So around 45 cards per order. I like that number. And what I like about these cards is that 95% of them are pretty much free to me. Um, you know, I bought them a long time ago in collections. I bought probably five to 10 years ago. And you know, those collections are all well paid off by now. So it's kind of all gravy now. And they've just been sitting in a two row waiting to get the call up to be graded for years now. Uh, and I was extra selective this time because a lot of them are lower end. So I need that gem 10 to make a good profit. Although I did make sure that if it does get that mint nine grade, they would at least sell for that you know, around $15 grading fee price. So with that said, my goal is actually over a 70% gem rate on these orders. And this would be a miracle. No near mint to mint eights. That would be amazing because we all know they definitely sneak into each order. But here we go. All right, looks like we're going to start off with, in my opinion, more of a higher-end card. So it definitely wasn't in one of those past collections I bought. Uh, I bought it raw off eBay for like 75 bucks, and it looked pre pretty clean. So I do recommend, obviously, grading your clean higher-end cards. All those are pretty much worth grading. Uh, it looked like a 9 outside chance at a 10. Trevor Lawrence. Kind of a risky play, but I think he'll have a good year. Uh, Sam Howell, another risky play, but it's a good-looking card. It looked like a 10. Prestige. Pretty clean. Hopeful for a 10 there. We got a Travis Kelsey, Playbook Sparkle. I think these are pretty short print, and they're good-looking cards. A nice color match, and it looked clean as can be. It looked like a 10. Obviously, one of the greatest tight ends of this of pretty much all time. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, Red Ice. This one looked like a 10, too. I mean, I'd say all these. 
cards have a potential of 10, so I guess I don't need to really give you the pre-grades. I'll just tell you my rationale. More T-Law at a score. Uh, you know, good college career. Starting off pretty well in the NFL. Rashad Bateman, this one's just a short print. That's why I wanted to grade it. I have a 39 and it looked great. We got second year Jalen Hurts. I think he's proved enough where we start grading some of his second year cards and you can get them pretty cheap still. I got to pick these up probably in Comp C for like two or three bucks. So there you go. They look great, both of them. Justin Jefferson, I think out of all the wide receivers, I think he's just the greatest um, right now to play the game. Active wide receiver, I think he's the greatest. There you go. So definitely great his stuff. Aaron Rodgers, this is a nice looking mosaic. Got game. You know, he's still playing. Future Hall of Famer. Padding his stats, like I mentioned. Same. Here's some more. Here's the back of that one. Trying to make sure to show the front and back. Will to win. Gabe Davis. Josh Allen thrown to him. You know, can't, can't go wrong there. Is that a luminance numbered out of 75? Look clean. More Justin Jefferson, just the emergent. They probably only sell for around 40 to 50 bucks as a gem 10, but it's a card that's not going to go down in value. Uh, Drew Brees, Prism, it was just centered up. It looked good. Tony Pollard, I think he's having a great year for Dallas. Starting running back, Zeke's gone. It looked like a 10 all day. Same with Debo Samuel. Versatile player. Scary Terry McLaurin. I actually think the Redskins are going to be good this year. Oh, sorry. I'm so used to, you know, I'm old school, so I'm so used to calling them the Redskins. But they are the Commanders. Got to get that through my head. There you go. Uh, Russell Wilson. I actually think he has a bounce back season with the new coach, you know. I think they'll rein him in, apply the pressure on him. I think he'll play pretty well, and he's a Hall of Famer, no matter kind of what he does from here on out. I still think he makes the Hall, so. Deontay Johnson, it's probably not the smartest play here, but um, I imagine it would sell for around 40, 50 bucks as a 10. Yeah, it looked good. More Travis Kelsey, number to have 199, look clean. You guys know why I'm grading him. Uh, it was uh, Vortex, Drew Brees, numbered out of 99. Uh, Vertex, sorry, out of Chronicles. Just a short print breeze, look clean. Nick Chubb, uh, he's on track. He needs probably five more seasons, but he's on track for a good Hall of Fame career. Numbered out of 99. Draft picks, die cut look. Roquan Smith, I like his trajectory. Uh, centered up, you can tell by the lines. Good looking card. Next up, we got the easy to grade second year contenders, Patrick Mahomes. I, mean, I was picking these up for like in the quarter boxes and dollar boxes all day. Uh, they look clean. They're really easy to grade with all that white. We got an Emmett Smith, Adrenaline Rush. I like the look of this card. Numbered out of 199, I believe. It was clean. One of the best running backs of all time. Uh, Dak Prescott, this is his second year, numbered out of 100. I like the look. It's like that 1981 Donruss baseball look. This is a cool card. I think Dak plays pretty well for the Cowboys this year. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't like collecting his stuff, but um, I also think he has... Kind of a bounce back year. And uh, the Browns play pretty well. So I got a few of his cards. They look like dense. Otherwise, I wouldn't have graded them. Here's his out of classics. I like the look of these classics. Here's a John Riggins numbered out of 50. Kind of that variation old school back. Christian McCaffrey. His career rejuvenated on the Niners. He's got a little bit to go, but I think he's a potential future Hall of Famer. Christian McCaffrey again, numbered out of 499. Panini. Father's Day. Here's his rookie out of Prism. Instant Impact. A little clean. Curtis Samuel. 
Um, this auto just looked great. Uh, I think he's still in the Commanders, playing pretty well last year. So, and Miles Garrett. Um, I was a little worried about the centering on this card. It's definitely higher in the bottom, but I was looking at all of these scopes, and they all are like this for Miles Garrett. So hopefully the grader can know that because <laughs> it looked like a 10 look clean christian mccaffrey ground force rookie another easy one to grade all of these man all these have chances at gym tens marlon humphrey decent career going i like it because it's numbered out of 75 you know no one's really grading these and they're not going to be for sale on ebay so i should have my one shot on there to sell it for the price i want deshaun watson Chris Jones, man, the Chiefs needed him that first game. This is his hollow first year optic rookie. His stuff actually sells pretty well. So when you see Chris Jones stuff, pick it up. He's on track for the haul. Drew Brees, this one looked good, nice and centered up. First year optic hollow. Clay Matthews, you know, a fan favorite. I like grading fan favorites. The interest is there, trust me. Number down 99. Clay Matthews, a Packer great. Matthew Stafford, this one's numbered out of 149, maybe? Yep, 149. Gridiron Kings, I like the look of these Gridiron Kings. Peyton Manning, silver out of prison. This one's 2015, I believe. And we got the Drew Brees of it. More Drew Brees. You know, his market is way, way down, so it's actually a good time to buy Drew Brees. But a lot of these probably, even if you get tens of them, I'll, I'll probably end up selling for around 45 50 bucks. But it's still worth it at that $15 grading price point. Uh, Larry Fitz, this is the green, now 2016 prism. Aaron Rodgers, shining star. Never a bad thing to grade Rodgers. And he's going to have a great season with the Jets. Uh, Jared Goff, uh, Lions just won. Out of prism. And Dan Marino out of 99 classics. I don't know why I like to look at those classics. All right, that's the first stack. Now you're getting into, you're going to start seeing the Topps Chrome because they discontinued uh, Topps Chrome after 2015. You know, Panini took over the licensing and everything like that. So uh, here's Jerry Rice. I thought it was a cool card. <laughs> Topps Fire. Um, you're going to see that cards with uh, important moments in athletes' uh, games, career. Uh, like this image right here, they sell pretty well. You know, they're good looking cards. So, this one looked gradable. And same with the James Harrison. This was an important game. Photo right here. He was a beast. Peyton Manning, I think this is the 2015 year. The ones earlier were 2016. It's the hollow or silver. Brandon Scherf, he's on the Jaguars now. He's having a good career. Maybe four, four Pro Bowls, somewhere on there. Uh, Russell Wilson, number 99, a bowl ticket. It was a good-looking card. It was clean. Eric Kendricks, fan favorite for the Vikings. I think he's played his whole career there. Solid player, not necessarily a Hall of Famer, but just a solid fan favorite. <clears throat> Jameis Winston, you're probably thinking why I'm grading Jameis Winston. It's a cool card, you know, and he had a... <laughs> cool story and good college career what a baseball player an athlete and it's, it's low numbered 25 out of 25 and it looked like a gem 10 so <clears throat> i can see someone wanting it kurt cousins um i think it's time to start grading some of his second third year cards this is uh, 2015 uh the silver prism looked very nice all right so now we're going to get into the tops chrome 2015 the last year they made them we got Eli Manning, looked like a 10, looked like a 10. Calvin Johnson, his stuff sells pretty well. Refractor, looked like a 10. Stephon Diggs, just a, just a base rookie, but nice looking. Julio Jones Green, future Hall of Famer. And Darrell Rivas, he just got into the hall, and I like the color match. So people do like color matches. So check the refractor color, the parallel colors with the jersey. It sells better. That's why I'm grading this one. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't have been worth grading. Gronk, his stuff always sells well. And, uh, man, we were spoiled. This generation tight ends, we had some of the best. Gronk, Travis Kelsey, Antonio Gates, 
Witten. Incredible tight ends. Uh, more Gronk Refractor. Matthew Stafford. Numbered out of 271. Just a good looking card. Zach Martin, future Hall of Famer. Cowboys locked him in probably for the rest of his career. It's a good sign. Numbered out of 199. I like when players play their whole career on one team. I think that helps value too. Here's a Mike Evans. I think this is a row zero. Um, it was clean. There you go. Brandon Cooks, numbered out of 50. It's kind of a mini. Cool looking card. It looked flawless. Uh, I'm an Oregon University fan. He went to Oregon State, but I like all the universities in Oregon. And Philip Rivers, we got the black refractor. Man, this one was sharp. Numbered out of 299. This is 2014 Topps Chrome. DeAndre Hopkins, second year Topps Chrome. Green, look great. Marshawn Lynch, I think he'll be a future Hall of Famer. Numbered out of 399. We got Aaron Donald still playing. Like I said, future Hall of Famer that's active. So I love grading Aaron Donald's stuff. Just be on the lookout for his these tops chrome there always have those kind of uh, factory lines on them always this one luckily didn't here's the stafford camo number out of 499 look good here's the stafford blue prism i'm not sure this one's numbered but still a cool looking card color match like i was talking about so it looked good we got jerry rice select it was great looking clean card nice image I mean, he's, I'd put him as probably the best wide receiver of all time. DeAndre Hopkins is rookie base out of finest, but I think he's going to have a good year, especially since Burke's pretty much their up-and-coming receiver for the Titans got hurt. So it's it's Hopkins. He's number one. Um, here's the Premier Prospects. I like the look of this. It's that retro look from 1996 SB, you know, where the Terrell Owens and all those guys. Marvin Harrison. They look pretty clean. Zach Hurts. Like I said, we were spoiled with good tight ends. I mean, he's not up there in that tier, but he had such a good career. He's still playing on the Cardinals. Man, we got to get him moving team to a contender. Uh, we're still going on the second stack. DeAndre Hopkins. You guys know why I'm grading him. It's Rookie Impact Prism. A couple of them look clean. Keenan Allen. He's on a good trajectory. Doing pretty well with Herbert thrown to him. He's just got to stay healthy. It'll look good. True Breeze Cornerstones. I have 2013. Blue. Darrell Revis. I wish this was a color match, but still it's numbered. Out of 499. It'll look good. Julio Jones. Was this 2013? So like a third year. But it'll look good. Calvin Johnson. Orange Refractor. Tyron. The Honey Badger. These look clean had a nice career matt barkley you might think it's weird green him but he's he's still in the league and he's backing up josh allen and he's he's a good backup trust me in the right circumstances he, he would have been a good quarterback in this league number 99 sepia geno smith um you know he's gonna have another good year he's got good weapons with metcalf and lockett so uh, more Zach Ertz, Refractor Rookie, 2013. Now we're getting into Limited. This must be low numbered while I'm grading it. Larry Fitz, numbered out of 49. Look nice. This is Kirk Cousins' score. It is the glossy. I probably wouldn't grade his base one, but it's uh, the parallel. It's glossy finish. And it looked good. Luke Keekley, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. His career was short, but strong. I think he'll get there. Who's that? I might need to check that one out again. Hold on. Doesn't that look weird to you? Was it just a fuzz? Uh, yeah, I probably won't be grading that one. <laughs> I think I saw that. Weird. Oh, well. I don't know. Let's look at that one closer. I didn't see that before. Anyway, Geno Atkins. Kind of his first year tops. So it's like considered his rookie. Um, Julio Jones. Second year X-Factor looked good. Kirk Cousins. 
is rookie base tops chrome. It's worth grading now. 2012, Calvin Johnson, Orange Refractor, look good. Big Ben, X Factor, that one looked great. No X Factor lines or anything. Nick Foles, you might be wondering why I'm grading Nick Foles. This is a hold. I think his stuff will sell, you know, well down the road. I think there'll be documentaries on him. You know, he won that Super Bowl. Um, yeah, fan favorite. I mean, the play is just incredible. What a game he had in that Super Bowl beating Tom Brady. So I think down the road these will be valuable. Number out of four ninety nine, and this one's a number out of ninety nine. So I like the look of these. Calvin Johnson X Fractor. We got color match Tony Romo. Look great. Number out of one ninety nine. Stephon Gilmore. This one numbered a three ninety nine. His rookie look great. He's on the Cowboys now. He should have a good year. Big Ben Orange Refractor two thousand eleven. 2011s always have factory lines, so be on the lookout. These ones looked good. <laughs> LT, heck yeah. The numbered out of 499. The purple refractor, Heinz Ward. Same numbered out of 499. I think a future Hall of Famer for Heinz. Patrick Peterson, he's on track for future Hall of Fame. This is his orange. Cameron Hayward, these his cards are always condition sensitive. They always have a ding on that corner or a ton of factory lines. And this one looked pretty good. It has a shot at a 10, so I'm very happy with that. A Julio base, same with this. Notorious for surface scratches and uh, lines and everything. So that one looked good. Calvin Johnson orange. Great. More Julio. We got a Larry Fitz. I like the look of this one. That look good. J.J. Watt, rookie, future Hall of Famer, and finally Von Miller, 2011. This is at least his kind of gold zone parallel. Yep, there you go. All right, that was second stack. We are kind of cruising. All right, last stack. We got Gerald McCoy. Uh, X-Fractor, 2010, Topps Chrome, Borderline Hall of Fame career. Here's that Julian Edelman I was talking about in my last video. They sell pretty well in Gem 10s. It's the, uh, you know, he didn't have a Topps or Topps Chrome official 2009 rookie card. So this is kind of his first Topps card. Tim Tebow, you know, I just watched Swamp Wars and it made me want to grade some of his stuff. It's, man, what a legendary guy, really, when you think about it. Um, great college career. Uh, it looked like a 10. Trent Williams. You know, I like grading his stuff. Future Hall of Fame. His tops. Flagship rookie. Looked like a 10. Gronk score. Looked great. Philip Rivers color match. 2009 tops chrome. Yes, I like that card a lot. Matthew Stafford. Hot rookies. And this Aaron Rodgers, I just thought it was a cool looking card. Bombs away. And I bet a lot of people aren't grading this card. Uh, Big Ben, it's got to be a parallel for me to grade it. Out of 250, it'll look good. Deshaun Jackson, he, you know, I'm not sure a Hall of Fame, but what a career. This is his blue Sterling Refractor. Calais Campbell, you got to see some of his stuff. Um,. This is his contenders, not his auto. He does have an auto, but this is the uh, kind of the playoff to get 99. James Harrison, the score actually sell pretty well. He didn't have a lot of rookies, so 2008 score, James Harrison. Tony Gonzalez, gridiron gear, numbered out of 50, I believe. Out of 100, and just look good. Now you're going to get a lot of Calais Campbell. I'm still high on him to be a Hall of Famer. He's still playing. So a lot of these look great. There's four top chrome rookies. Here's a champ Bailey, same year 2008. Look great, X Factor. Patrick Willis, I think he'll sneak into the hall soon. Bowman Chrome 2007. Marshawn Lynch, there you go. More Patrick Willis. This one's numbered out of 125. It's a good looking card. Joe Staley, I think he'll sneak into the hall eventually too. And Joe Thomas, he just got inducted this year. This card sell pretty well. More Champ Bailey, 2007 Tops Chrome Refractor. Adrian Peterson. Um, these ones are kind of condition sensitive, so I like grading them. They always get kind of a little bit of chipping on the bottom. These look good. 
Same with the Joe Thomas. It looked pretty good. Maybe a little white, but I think at least a nine. Fresh Faces Ultra. Patrick Willis. This is out of what was it called? Trilogy. Cool looking card. Kind of that acetate look. Look great. And we're at a 399. Calvin Johnson, hot rookies at a score. More Marshawn Lynch, still in seven finest moments. And we got some ultimate collection. Ladanian Tomlinson. It's kind of their base numbered out of uh, 525 and 206, I believe. All right, next up, this is our final little kind of stack. Uh, Devin Hester. I think he gets in too. What a career as a special teams. Punt returner, unbelievable. And this card I imagine to be condition sensitive. Front's fine, but look at the back. Yeah, you can get a lot of chipping and stuff. Um, it looked pretty good. Uh, we got some Topps Chrome, Devin Hester. And we got some regular Topps. Oh, we got two Topps Chrome, good. And then one regular Topps. And we got Haloti Nada. He played for the University of Oregon Ducks. So I am a fan. I don't think he'll get into the hall, but still a cool looking card. Tony Romo. Um, this is one of his earlier cards. Not his rookie, but 2005. He didn't have a lot of cards. Um, even in his rookie year, 2003. But definitely not a lot in 2005. It looked good. It looked clean. Here's a Frank Gore. He'll get into the hall soon. He's like high up on the total rushing yards list. Here's the bazooka. Score. And it's a cool card. It's 2004, so it's Philip Rivers rookie here, but not LTs. But it's Ticketmasters. It is numbered. Acetate look. It looked clean. Numbered out 1250. Here's the Philip Rivers. A um, little off center, but I'm hoping to at least get a 9, if not a 10. It might sneak in there. It's the kind of collection gold foil version we got eli manning bazooka that's a cool looking card uh this one is off center too but it's clean this is rookie year 2004 tops chrome not the real tops chrome rookie but part of the set here's a tomlinson I actually had two of them kind of like that 2006 ultimate collection this one's i think 2003 and there you go we got Terrell Suggs, 2003, Bumble Chrome rookie. And this one I imagine being conditioned since it's a low pop. Hog Heaven. It looked pretty good. Looked like at least a nine. And we got some Drew Brees, 2003 Tops Chrome cards. I think these will hold their value down the road. There we go. We got more Suggs. Tops Total. It looked good. Dwight Freeney, Pristine. He'll get in the hall soon. Numbered out of four ninety nine. Julius Peppers numbered out of nine ninety nine. Look good. Uh, Keyshawn Johnson out of a hundred. Just a cool limited print run on that for an older two thousands card. Dwight Freeney, finest two thousand two rookie. Reggie Wayne. This one looked great. There's always chipping on these. It looked like a ten. Deuce, fan favorite. I like grading some fan favorite stuff. It's Tails into one, Tops Chrome Rookie, numbered out of 999. It looked good. Shot out of 10, actually. Here's an Erlacher. Um, this is the extra. So it is the parallel foil version. Rookie. Look great. Johnny Unitas. I thought this card was just a cool looking card. Refractor, I think it's year 2000. A little bit off center, but at least a 9. And finally, we'll end on a very condition-sensitive card. Quantum Leaf, 2000 Barry Sanders. The front is a 10, but the back has... Look at the bottom corners are great. There's always chipping and stuff on him. But the top two corners... Jeez, I want dust on him. I have some white showing. So if there is one card that deserves maybe an 8 on this whole entire order, it's probably this one. But outside chance at a 9, you just never know. There you go. I hope you found some of the tips helpful in this video, and I really appreciate you watching. Wish me luck, and good luck to all you sending out football cards in that special. All right, have a good day. Have a good day.